Hare Krishna, dear souls out there in the world. Welcome back for another session of Hare Krishna Mahamantra's meditation. Um, you know, um, we may find that the world is quite chaotic, and even our own little world can be chaotic, you know, within the mind. And this is a chance and an opportunity, anytime, anywhere, to um, express this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra in any way that's most comfortable for you. That's what I always like to suggest, you know, um, because we're all in some ways different. You know, as as far as I understand from the ancient yoga meditation wisdom and science from ancient India, there is also in the world, um, in uh, quality, we're all different. We're all the same. <laughs> so I would say there is also world as soul. But, you know, externally, all of these coverings that we have, they're so different. Um, there might be similarities there, but, you know, otherwise, why would we have different, you know, inclinations, preferences? Why would we be attracted to certain circumstances where other persons wouldn't be attracted to the same circumstances? For example, you know, I'm learning about myself externally that, um, you know, I do better off living on my own, <laughs> you know, where I have the space and the peace to... Um, you know, really concentrate on my own meditation. Whereas others, you know, they may prefer, you know, sleeping in a bunk bed where there's always someone there, you know, to talk to. So um, it doesn't matter who you are, what your circumstances, what your situation is. In other words, there are souls in the world. Um, this is a chance to go deeper than all of your circumstances, to go deeper than all of your conditioning. Um, you know, in my personal experience, I couldn't find a way on the material level, like the surface papery is what I like to call papery, in case you guys didn't hear that, Jesus was in the world, level, you know, just very thin and very cheap. Um, I couldn't find a way to go beyond all of my both temporary happiness and temporary distress, you know, and they'd always come and go, um, very, very quickly in my own personal experience. Um, but actually, when I think about it, the material happiness that was so temporary was like drops, you know, and then the whole ocean was like the distress, you know, so some persons out there who are with me right now, dear souls in the world, may be able to relate to that, and that's very common. Why? Because we're trying to find that satisfaction on the material level. And so, of course, there's distress because um, the results never at least in my personal experience, meet up with the expectation that we may have to ourselves in the world. So this is how we can gain that satisfaction through the expressing of this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation. And the reason why I emphasize this meditation so much, there are other facets to this um, practice of meditation, but you know, you find more and more that actually everything comes from the sincere expressing of this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation you know, your life could look completely different to mine, and mine could look completely different to another person's externally, if that makes sense to yourselves in the world. Different jobs, different accommodation, different clothes, different bodies, you know, this rubber, basically, to yourselves in the world, um, that will eventually get diseased, you know, and then die. Um, that's the reality <laughs> of um, the body, you know, that we may glamorize it, you know, and, and try and find pleasure through that part of the self. Um, you know, so this is how we can go a lot deeper than the body. Um, and um, we can see as the generations progress, at least from what I've observed ourselves in the world, you know, this um, bodily identification becomes stronger and stronger in terms of where we're trying to seek our pleasure. And so, of course, there's so much mental illness because seeking, trying to seek, I should say, to ourselves in the world, um, pleasure on that level where there really is none in my personal experience to ourselves in the world, you know, um, it does lead to mental illness, you know, because you're not getting what you want. And what you want is love, you know, and we can't find love on the bodily level. I've tried it, you know, in many different situations. It never happens. 
but we still may look for it on that level. And uh, that's okay, we're just innocent. As far as I understand, Jesus doesn't know what innocence means. We don't know, we don't know yet, we don't know anything different that's going to give me more than what I'm currently experiencing. That's my understanding and my personal definition of innocence. You know, so I see everyone as innocent, um, including myself, because there's still a lot that I have yet to learn. You know, more realizations that I have yet to gain through this expressing of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Um, yeah, and mantra simply means to free the mind. Man means mind and chak means to free if you break the word mantra into two syllables. Um, you know, in this mantra, as far as I understand it, so as my world and personally practice to the best of my ability, it can be expressed anywhere, anytime. You know, um, I've even heard persons tell me, no, you can't do it at this time, you know, or you can't do it in this situation. Um, and that makes no sense to me because, um, then how likely is it that we're going to take shelter of it when things really hit us, you know, in the face, so to speak, if, you know, we're not um, almost like strengthening that ability like a muscle. Um, and so I personally like to express um, this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra as often as I can, um, because you're just, again, strengthening that muscle of remembering the mantra and remembering to um, uh, express it. And then even if there are times where you're expressing this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and you think, oh, I'm not putting much love into this meditation, then again, that repetition anyway, you know, it'll make it a lot easier than when you do want to give your heart, you're going to put it into the mantra, as opposed to something that can't satisfy you, which is anything on the material level. That's my personal experience anyway, dear souls in the world. Um, and it's a gradual process, and in my personal experience, it's a gradual loss of taste of other things, because this mantra is described as a higher taste. So once this mantra hits whatever sense we use, you know, to express this Hare Krishna mantra in our own personal life, gradually, gradually, so many things that we tried to find, sorry, I meant to say to so many things that we tried to find um, that love and that happiness and that satisfaction, in other words, in, you know, but if we really get still with ourselves, maybe we couldn't. My personal experience, I couldn't at all, dear souls in the world. Um, your taste for those things diminish on their own. No force is required. Um, yeah, so just say you're a smoker. Just say you pack, sorry, I meant to say dear souls in the world. Just say you smoke a packet of cigarettes every day, you know. Um, smoking will quit you. You don't have to quit the smoking, you know. No external endeavor. And I'm just going to close this window to ourselves in the world. Thank you for your patience to ourselves in the world. Um, um, yeah, it's a higher taste. So once um, you get going, so to speak, with this meditation, in your own way, in a way that's most comfortable for you, then um, what we try to grab onto, so to speak, dear souls in the world, this is my personal experience anyway, dear souls in the world, you know, and then it's just like, nothing's there, you know, um, it becomes replaced more and more with real satisfaction, that never leaves you, you know, and obviously we have our free will, you know, so we can always choose to stop, you know, expressing this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. You know, we have choice. And, uh, you know, if we didn't have choice, if we couldn't choose to do things, then, um, as far as I understand from ancient yoga meditation, wisdom and science in ancient India, real love would not be possible because real love requires choice. You know, if someone were to, or if I were to, pin you up, dear soul or dear souls in the world, against the wall and strap you to the wall and say, love me, love me, love me, right? Is that love? The answer is no, you know, because it's forced. Choice, consent, in other words, dear souls in the world, needs to be required for real love to fructify within the heart. So this is how the meditation works. We put in and then we get... Um, 
out of it, you know, far more, always, um, you know, and we're always benefited by, um, in whatever way is most comfortable, expressing this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, in whatever way we like, you know, and then other people get benefit, the atmosphere benefits, you know, it's amazing, like, um, when I first moved into this place where I'm living, the atmosphere was just so dark within this room, I mean, it looks dark right now because it's, um, uh, it's because of the time of the day, but now, you know, being in this room that I'm in, um, the energy is a lot different because of the mantra, um, you know, and um, any time in the past where I've personally stopped expressing this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, regrettably, um, then I noticed straight away the atmosphere completely changed and it became dark again. You know, so we can be like that, like children, learning how to walk so we may fall over a few times as we're learning to walk, but um, gradually, gradually, naturally, you start to learn to walk and then you're on your way to enlightenment, to real love. So I'll stop the introduction there and we'll go into some Hare Krishna Maha Mantra music meditation singing style, but feel free to, even though I'm singing this mantra, because it's my personal preference to ourselves in the world, you can hum this mantra with me, mouth it, think it, scream, shout, sing this mantra with me, whisper this mantra with me, anything. Lying down, sitting, standing, walking from here to there, anything. This is your life, you know, so um, no one should be telling you how to live your life in every which way. You know, that's our, um, we need to make these decisions, you know, um, and then kind of take stock and take a little bit of inventory, if that makes sense to ourselves in the world, is how I'm living serving me um, in the best way. And if we find that it is or it isn't, just say it isn't, in certain ways, you know, just get still with it, if you like to do ourselves in the world, no judgment is required, no blame, guilt is required. I've said before, I think to ourselves in the world, that these feelings are simply a waste of time especially because they will take you out of meditation, you know. But you find the more that you start meditating on the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, these feelings will dissipate just like um, evaporated water, basically, if that makes sense to ourselves in the world. Um, you know, new feelings will emerge, new thoughts, new behaviours on their own, simply through the expressing of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. That's my own personal experience anyway, to a degree, because I'm a beginner, you know, but you can even see in these great saints and souls who have been expressing the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra far longer than I have, it's real, you know, you can, in terms of how much they've evolved compared to myself, um, you know, so, um, yeah, it takes sincerity, it takes heart, you know, but even if you don't put any of those things, the sincerity in the heart, into this meditation right now, for example, even simply by expressing the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, over time then naturally you'll want to put your heart in. Even you can't help yourself. That's my personal experience anyway. So we'll really begin on this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditational journey, if that makes sense to ourselves in the world. And I'm going to use my hands and instruments because I have no other instruments to ourselves in the world. And uh, the melody may change from time to time. Feel free to um, express every single mantra with me, every second mantra to yourselves in the world, whatever you want. And it is your time with the transcendental sound vibration, the deepest connection you could possibly ever feel in your whole life, you know, because it's going beyond any bodily connection or any mental connection that you might have with other assignments and yourselves in the world that you might have with another person, if that makes sense to yourselves in the world. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Krishna, 
Hare Krishna, ah, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, ah, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, ah, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, oh, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare, Rama, Rama, Rama.
Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Krishna, ah, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, ah, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare, Hare, Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. Thank you all for participating in this meditation. You know, this um, meditation is what's really going to bring brightness into your life on a deep level. Um, you know, and it's going to brighten up the atmosphere. Um, even these little living entities, these flies are loving it that are around me right now. Um, you know, this benefits every single living entity. Um, yeah, and then we can then become conscious of how precious all of these living entities are, you know, gradually, gradually, or quickly, quickly, but no judgment, you know, depending on your pace or, you know, how you approach this meditation. Um, talking about you, dear souls in the world, don't try your best not to judge yourself or judge anyone else. 
um, you know, for those who have not yet come in contact with the sound vibration, you know, it's simply that they're innocent, don't know, you know, so how can they do anything different? How can we be in any way that is different if we don't know anything else? So, um, because I used to judge all the time, that's why I say this, one of the reasons anyway, why I say this to ourselves in the world is, um, I used to judge others an awful lot, um, you know, because they weren't at the time, you know, um, where I was, or, or it's something like that, you know, even though in retrospect I was quite <laughs> awful <laughs> to other persons, so, yeah, I have a history of many things, which I won't go into detail right now because there's a lot, you know, that I've done in the past, um, and to save time, but maybe I'll review these things in other sessions with you all the ourselves up there in the world, um, you know, and that's definitely not the way, um, you know, I've heard um, from others, from many Jesus, that the greatest way to show that this um, process of meditation, uh, to show that it works, Jesus in the world, is simply by your example. You know, just people seeing how you are in general, you know, like in public, on the street, or at work, or wherever you are. You know, if you've developed a taste for expressing this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, then, okay, people might say, well, prove it to me, how, how are you different? How, how, how is it improving your life? How is it working on your heart? Because that is the main thing, is it's working the heart. Um, so people may say, and very rightly so, they may say, okay, well, how is it massaging your heart? How is it working your heart? And then how is it manifesting? So that's just some advice to persons who are already doing this meditation. And for those who, um, of you, dear souls in the world, who are new to this kind of meditation, um, you know, it's simply a matter of beginning to um, sort of ponder, um, you know, maybe there's something out there that can satisfy me in ways that currently what I'm doing, it just doesn't completely, you know, it might, you might feel just as well some kind of satisfaction for a little while, because that is the nature of everything that's of a material nature, if that makes sense to us in the world, is it provides like, um, something, um, to a small degree whereby you're then hooked simply for continuous small kinds of pleasure. You know, it's like just enough to hook you in and then you're on your way to the cycle of um, simply one temporary pleasure after another. Um, and then how do we get out? You know, my personal experience, I couldn't find a way to get out of that cycle, so to speak. And, um, you know, so it's about just pondering, you know, maybe is there something that can get me out of this cycle that, in my personal experience, simply causes frustration, you know. Um, and, yeah, what is that? How does it work, you know? Um, in, my, in my personal experience, just as not what I'm say, just as not what, you know, it's through this expressing of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which goes beyond any material arrangement and any material condition, you know. Otherwise, not everyone could do it. And then that'd be quite... Um, ridiculous. <laughs> I apologize if that is offensive or sounds offensive to ourselves in the world, but that word I mean, ridiculous. But um, yeah, everyone should have access to this mantra, this Hare Krishna Maha mantra, in order to start to feel something, some genuine life there on the inside, you know, and then it just grows and grows and grows. Because um, many people, I'm sure, as I'm saying these things right now, to us doesn't know if that makes sense to us in the world. I'm sure some people in the world have found a nice quiet bathroom, you know, to end their life right now. You know, or maybe they've found a balcony somewhere, or gone on top of a building, something like that. These things are happening right now, you know. Confusion, you know, depression, you know. Um, as far as I understand to us in the world, any kind of mental imbalance or mental illness is confusion. Because what's the opposite of confusion is clarity. You know, so once you have clarity, then all of the mental illnesses, they 
dissipate very, very quickly until they're non-existent, you know, because then you're clear, your vision is clear, your heart's clear. So I'll end there. I hope I haven't um, uh, offended anyone uh, with any of the topics that I've raised, um, but feel free to um, jot down any critiques or anything like that in the comments below. Um, you know, um, yeah, and all I can recommend is the more heart that you give this meditation, the more powerful it is. You know, it's a, it's a test for all of us, you know. For example, I um, uh, do my best to stick to, you know, like a daily meditation of the Sargashim Ramachi meditation. And so it's like every day it's a chance, okay, well, um, you know, either it's after the fact I, I think about it or um, ideally it should be maybe before meditation, okay, how much heart am I going to give this meditation, you know, sometimes I give it um, not as much heart as I should, because everything comes from this meditation, according to this great saint and soul, His Holiness David Mita Swami, and also in my personal experience as well, to a degree, um, yeah, um, especially on the inside, because that's what counts, you know, it doesn't matter what coverings you have, um, they'll change eventually, you know, for example, I have, um, my skin is not sunburnt, but it could become sunburnt, and then it'd be no longer sunburnt, you know, so everything's like that. <gasps> Dress in the world, if that makes sense, Dress in the world. Um, yeah, so I'll leave the session there. Thank you all for your sincere and heartfelt participation. That's what matters the most. Hare Krishna, Jai Sazak, Namah